I uh, spent 40 years working with Chevron in different parts of the world. I've worked in exploration, production, and in major capital projects, and also in executive office uh, positions. My final uh, retirement uh, job was when I was in uh, Nigeria as the managing director for Nigeria Mid-Africa for Chevron. I think one of the things you have to do in everything you do, you have to be the best. And quite often that involves partnering. So whether it's partnering with uh, a well evaluation company, a construction company, a digital analysis company, the company really that you're working for really needs to partner and come up with the best possible team. I think that if you look at the way BCG has uh, delivered results, consistently. I've seen that in several areas. That's the reason we partnered with uh, BCG. It allowed us to do an analysis in, for example, the marine and aviation logistics area. We had to make sure that it was controllable that um, the support was available for each of the operations, but that by its very nature developed some silos. And it was clear we could make things more efficient by a new organizational structure, new roles, new processes. But that would need the data and the analysis to show and convince the teams to commit to those changes. We were able to achieve more than 30% savings in the total um, marine aviation logistics area. BCG is completely up to date in uh, the latest techniques, uh, the latest ideas, just as you expect all of your teams to be up to date in the latest technology, we need to be up to date in the latest management techniques. The fact that the transformation teams work on this continuously means they bring a big depth of expertise, they bring experience from many areas, and the thing that even over 10 years always amazed me was the speed with which they could delve into the analysis and bring the processes to bear to make change. Well, first of all, the, uh, the projects paid off. Uh, that's the only reason you would ever do a second one, if the first one was successful. They paid off um, very efficiently. Uh, they paid off quickly. I think also the lasting activities that are in the organization are very important for continuous improvement in the organization. Part of that comes from putting very bright, upcoming young managers on the project with the experts that come in from BCG. They get enabled in uh, management techniques. They pick up experience. It opens up their view that when they leave the team and go back to manage their small piece, probably going to get larger piece of the company, that is really a long-lasting benefit. There has to be leadership um, commitment. Uh, leaders have to uh, step out and show the case uh, for this. You then need to get commitment in the organization. Leaders can start change. Middle managers can slow it down or just commit to it because they have to. Moving to an organization, every group you deal with, says, ah, I understand that, but my group's different because, or it can't apply to me because. And very quickly, working with the team, working with some very strong players from Chevron, we were able to go from this is a problem to how do we make this work, and how do we take it further? And it's that interactive product that is really a result.
one of the things that BCG is very good at, the end product is not a presentation to management. It is behavioral, cultural change of champions in the organization. And those champions really help to make it sustainable and keep it going. The oil and gas industry has, it's a commodity. And so they get very good when uh, prices are low at making some one-time or temporary savings. And they get a little bit lax when the price goes up. One of the things that the behavioral and cultural change does is show that it's actually a better way of working no matter what the price, to be more efficient, to be better team members, and to keep the processes improving.